Hey everybody, my name's Todd. And my name's Mahila. And welcome to The Way Kids. <laughs> Whether you're watching this at home or in a class at church, we are so excited to be together. Let's start off with a game today. Yeah. Our friends Mal and John are gonna give you some instructions and show you how it's done. Afterwards, you can either press pause to play the game yourself or you can continue on to the story for the day. Listen, if you don't have some of the same supplies as us, get creative. There's lots of fun ways you can play these games with different items. <laughs> See you soon. See ya. Hey guys, welcome to Minute to Win It Games with Mal and John. I'm John. And I'm Mal. And today we are playing a game that is really tasty and it is called Cookie Face. Wow, I'm very excited. How this game works? is you take a cookie, there's some in this bowl here. You can do an Oreo or whatever other type of cookie, or just a home-baked chocolate yeah. chip cookie, or a raisin oatmeal cookie, or a- Double chocolate cookie. Double chocolate cookie, or any other type of cookie. You start with it on your forehead, like this, right in the middle, and then the goal is to get the cookie, can you see me? Yeah. The goal is to get the cookie into your mouth, <laughs> but you can't use your hands or anything else. So you just gotta, shift it around, scrunch your face, do whatever you can to get the cookie into your mouth. I'm gonna put this one here because I don't want yeah, to That was on my sweaty forehead. <laughs> yeah. So you want to get the cookie in your mouth and mind. we're gonna see how many each of us can get in a minute. If you get it in your mouth, then you grab a new one. Yeah. Because you get to eat it. That's yeah. the fun part. And if you drop you it on the ground, don't eat it. If you drop it on the ground. We can decide later. Don't eat it. Yeah. Um, that's it. And that, I don't think there's any other rules besides that. Oh. There's always one rule. Keep your hands to yourself. Yes! There we go. I remember. Okay. Ready? Three. Two. One. Go. go. Oh. I don't know if I go with my eyes or around the side. It's going to go my eye. <laughs> Excited. You get it? No! <laughs> yeah, starting over again. Are you shaking or are you scrunching? Breaking. Oh, oh, I lost it again. Oh no. I got start in the middle. I'm cheating. There we go. Did you get a second one? Oh my! Oh, you're so good at this. I'm cooking in my I thought, eye. I thought my kneeling down was going to help me and it's not helping me. I got one. I'm just gonna enjoy it. That's the timer. I don't even count. <laughs> well. Wow, great game. Good job. You got two? Three. Oh, oh, no, that one. didn't count. Pass the buzzer. Two. You have a lot of crumbs on your face. Can we get a close up? <laughs> a lot of crumbs on that face. Well, you, you won. That brings us to three to three. We're all tied up. This is amazing. Wow. I've never felt so crushed or embarrassed in my life. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens next week. But well, I got a cookie, so that was the consolation. So I'm glad you great. got one. Me too. Thanks. You can have these. You're the best. Okay, bye guys. See you next week. Welcome to our last week together in our series called Wonderful. Today, we're taking a look at one of the most beautiful wonders of the natural world, the Great Barrier Reef. Have you ever been snorkeling? I would love to snorkel in the Great Barrier Reef. Although I can't take us to the Great Barrier Reef today to go snorkeling, oh wait, these look like bubbles. Are we snorkeling? <laughs> Just kidding. But we can imagine how amazing it would be. Probably so many cool sea creatures and the water would be beautiful. Seeing and experiencing the natural wonders of our world makes me come to life. You know what else makes me feel alive? Worshiping God. It's been so incredible learning about worship this month with you. Did you know that over 70% of the Earth's surface is water? That's how vast our oceans are. But do you know who's even more everywhere than the water? God. 
That means that we can worship God anywhere and everywhere. In your car, in your room, at school, at the dinner table, when we're swimming in the ocean. We can worship by living for God, and we can live for God everywhere we go. Let's take a closer look at today's passage with Grow TV. Hello there, mates. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends. Talk about Jesus and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey there, kids. I'm so happy you're here because that means one thing. We're going on one last trip. That's right. We are using the VR Wonderful for one last sight. We've seen the Northern Lights. We have scoured Mount Everest. We have explored the Grand Canyon, but today... We're going to one place that I never even knew existed. We're going down and down. A place called the Great Barrier Reef. I heard it's underwater, so <sighs> I brought my snorkel, y'all. Y'all ready to get started? Ha, <laughs> me too. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> Holy moly, this is probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. I mean, how cool is it that guy created all of this? Every fish, every plant, every drop of water, every grain of sand. Wow! Wow what? Jada, hey, how are you? I'm great. Super excited to hear about what you thought of the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, it was, uh, wait, how do you know where I went? Oh, sorry, I figured it was obvious. Obvious? Obvious how? I mean, we've been talking about the world's most wonderful and natural wonders. The Great Barrier Reef stands out as one of the best. Oh, you're also wearing a snorkel and goggles. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it was super cool. I actually think I'm going to visit there. Wait, what if I move there? Then I could snorkel in the reef all day long. Well, you can't. What are you talking about? Why now? Well... First off, you can't move to Australia. Your Mama needs you here. I mean, who else would take out the trash and give y'all's pet alligator a bath? That is true. Gertrude does need her baths. Exactly. And also, even if you did, you can't snorkel in the reef all day. That's impossible. Well, nothing is impossible, right? I mean, snorkeling ain't that hard. No, but you got work, gotta eat. You wouldn't be able to go hang out with friends. Snorkeling isn't like worship. Well, what do you mean by that? I just mean worship is something we can do all day, everywhere we go. You really think we can worship God all day long? Don't get me wrong, I love spending time with God, but that's a long time to go to church. I mean, all day, every day? Well, that's the thing, remember? Worship doesn't have to happen within a church. It can happen anywhere. Wherever you're living, whatever we are doing, we can worship God. And the really cool part is that people will notice too. What? How? Well, look at Psalm 112. It says this, Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear in the end. They will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. Was I talking about people who follow God? It sure was. I mean, someone can tell by just the way I live that I follow God? That's what the Bible says. How is that possible? Well, think about it. You know how I was able to guess you had seen the Great Barrier Reef? Yeah. Well, I was able to do that because of the snorkel and goggles you were wearing. So it's kind of like our lives. If we love and follow God, our lives will show that through the way we talk, the way we act, and the way we treat other people. I guess I never thought about it like that. But helping others, using respectful words, being kind, how is that worship? Well, it's not worship if we're just doing these things because we feel like we have to. Right. But I'm sorry. Don't we worship because God wants us to worship? 
Of course God wants us to worship, but not because God needs to know what we think of God. But when we worship God, we are letting God know that we truly do love God and are thankful to God. But it's not enough to just sing songs and talk to God. God knows that we mean the things we say to God when we follow it up with the things we do. So to tell God thank you for forgiving all of our sins, everything bad we've ever done or will ever do, for sending us Jesus and always being with us, I can... Live for God. It's got to be done by how we live our life. Wow! I mean, that's like a lot of responsibility. It's a big job, but God knows we can do it. Yeah, maybe you're right. So what do I do? Well, the best thing is to stay connected. Like, charge my phone? (laughs) No, stay connected to God. We can do that by reading the Bible and memorizing scripture. We can do it by praying and talking to God and even talking with people who know more about God than we do. Wow, and by worshiping God by how we live, we can not only help ourselves by growing into a stronger, faithful follower, we can help others realize how much God loves them. You got it. God's plan for us is exactly that. Even Jesus tells us in John 13, 35, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Wow, how exciting. Plus, you know I memorized a little scripture myself. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Well, hello there. It's time for our great big idea, which is we can worship by living for God. So let's shout it out loud on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. We can worship by living for God. Great job! Okay, I'm gonna stop with the accent. But seriously, I have had an absolute blast learning with you kids about some of Earth's most natural wonders. But it looks like I gotta get out of here, so I'm gonna hop on a kangaroo and I'll see you next time, alright? Bye! (laughs) Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Let's recap this week's lesson. God has given us so many amazing promises. This psalm is what we call a wisdom psalm because it gives instructions on how to live and how not to live. These verses remind me that I don't need stuff to feel secure. With God by my side, I have what I need. I can be confident God will take care of me even when I become distracted by other things. Reading this psalm, The concept of generosity kept jumping out at me. I can live just for myself, or I can live a life that blesses the very heart of God. Like I said, I love going on adventures because it shows me just how big and wonderful God is. But keeping all that to myself seems pretty shellfish. I mean, selfish. Psalm 112 tells me that there are things I can do that benefit others and not just myself. Doing the things that make God happy is a wonderful thing to live for. Let's take some time to learn the new memory verse for this month with some actions. I'll do it first and my friend Mal here will copy and you can do with her. So everyone stand on up. You ready? I praise you. I praise you. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works, your works, are wonderful, are wonderful. I know that, I know that, full well, full well. Psalm 139, Psalm 139, 14, 14. Okay, we've all done it once, but we're gonna try it again all together. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. I I praise you you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Psalm 139, 14. Great job. Let's close in prayer together. You can repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending your son Jesus to teach us how to love others fully. Amen. Thanks everyone for a great week today and our last day of the series, Wonderful. 
We hope to see you again next week. If you're at home, we've included a few discussion questions and a coloring page and a worship playlist. If you'd like to get these, you can just ask your parents for help and click the link below. Thanks for being with us today and we'll see you next week.